Hi, this is Vicki, and today I'm going to bring to you a little bit of a different bag review. This is not my normal camera bag review that I usually do on my website. Um, this is a British Army ammunition grab bag, and it's something that I saw on Twitter, and I inquired as to what this person was using, and they told me this was it. Um, they were using it also as a camera bag, and that's what I'm going to review it as today. Um, I did a little bit of research on eBay and I found a retailer in the US that was selling one brand new and I decided to go for it. It was under $50, it was $34.99 and I thought why not, um, what's the worst that could happen? I, I just will have an extra satchel that I'll be able to use for something else if it doesn't work out. Um, but it is actually working out very well. Those of you who follow my blog know that I've been doing a little bit of a commuter shooter trial which means I'm carrying my camera bag with me everywhere I go. It comes to me, uh, comes with me every day to work and uh, everywhere I go, uh, which is really nice to have my camera with me, but it requires a different type of bag uh, than my normal purse that I carry. Um, I've been using the Lowepro Passport Sling, which I reviewed a little bit on my site. I'm gonna do more in-depth review soon, but um, that's been working out really well. And then when I received this, I thought this is a nice, again, complement to my existing uh, bag collection, and I'll go into a little bit more depth of what this bag is all about. Um, today I'm, I'm actually recording on my lunch hour outside here out in a baseball field. I'm actually using the bleachers as a little table here. So hopefully you can hear me well. Um, I want to do a little bit of a different approach and also using my lunch hour to do this. So, um, so let's get into the features of the bag. Um, it is canvas material and um, it's pretty uh, small in size as, as far as you know camera bags go. Um, it's uh, it's Again, good enough for a, a daily commuter bag. Uh, not too huge, not too small. It's actually quite a nice size for what I'm using. Comes with a nice big uh, strap that actually goes very, very long. Um, I actually had to um, take care of the strap to, to coordinate it so that the buckle, uh, the, this side, would actually be on my shoulder. Um, so I had to do a little bit of finagling to get that to position correctly. But it is a meant for use in the field for military folks, so it is quite durable in the fabric. It's made out of very strong, I'd say like Cordura or canvas fabric. It has very sturdy um, Velcro on the uh, entire perimeter of the top of the opening of the bag. So that's really great because it's going to stay shut and it's, it's going to be, if anybody tries to get in there, going to know if you use the Velcro all the way around because it's, it's kind of hardy to, to get off. Um, so that's the opening of the bag. So as you can see, I have it stuffed with um, a lot of a lot of equipment right now. So what I have in the very top is the Low Pro Dash Point, and I have the camera I'm filming with right now. My uh, Olympus OMD EM1 fits in here with my 17 millimeter lens. So that's what I have in the very top of the bag. Not usually carrying around two bodies in my commuter shooter. Um, but I am doing that today so that I can have one video, one to record on and one to show you how I fit the other stuff in the bag. So inside, this is what I normally carry day to day. I have my Olympus OMD EM10 with a 14 millimeter to 150 millimeter attached. So that fits perfectly in the bag. It does have the grip attached um, and I do have a strap attached to it. And the insert that I'm using is the insert for my uh, Low Pro Passport Sling. So it, it works beautifully in this bag. It's a little bit shorter, but that doesn't bother me at all. It's actually perfect for this. Another thing that you could use, I have many inserts from other camera bags, but also the Tenba BYOB series is perfect for this application. So I'm gonna put that camera aside. And on the side pocket here, um, again, in that insert, I have uh, a microfiber cloth. I have um, a Tom Bin organizer pouch that has my battery, um, some wipes for my lens. It has my um, the, the tripod plate that I have that I'm using right now, and also my Allen wrench for my tripod plate, as well as a battery for the EM10 um, that I'm using right over here. So that's what I have in the insert. Um, on the side of the insert, there's still plenty of room for uh, my wallet a uh, cord bag which has cords that I need um, for my iPhone, my iPads that I carry, headphones and things like that. Um, another Tom Bin organizer pouch for some um, card, store cards, you know you have those annoying cards which I really need to put on my iPhone and get rid of this bag but um, it has some other uh, store cards in there as well and this little um, also organizer pouch from Tom Bin and that's what fits um, in the main compartment here. Also, I have a pad because I don't go anywhere without a notepad to take notes in. Um, I have a 
pen. And then in the back, again, it held very nicely by the insert, is my iPad mini. And that comes with the, uh, the case. So it's a little bit thicker than you would normally have your iPad mini, which is very slim, but that fits uh, behind. And that empties out everything that I'm carrying in the main compartment. Um, so pretty roomy. Again, if you don't have any insert, you could put your camera equipment in there, but if you're putting a lot of other stuff too, then um, it actually isn't going to be protected. So I like to have that. Um, in there and it works perfectly for this application. Um, on the side you have two pockets that I don't find really very useful. Um, the top one I just put my keys in there and then the bottom one I don't have anything. The reason I say I don't find it very useful is because they're not very deep and when you close this little latch it's pretty open here so I, I'm not really um, enticed to use it because I don't want anything that I have to fall out you know if I'm carrying this um, around and I drop something on the grass like where I am right now, I might not hear it fall. So I'm, I'm not really inclined to use those because they're too shallow for me. Um, on this side, um, there's a buckle and there's also Velcro strip and I have my mini tripod in there, which I like to carry around because if I'm out in the field uh, doing a shoot and I need a little bit of stability and I don't want to carry a big tripod, I can use this. Um, so that's great and that's what I have in this side pocket. Um, it also that has a lot of these uh, webbed uh, loops so you can attach stuff to to really securely hold your items in there um, and then the the nice sized top compartments um, there's three of them held by a very uh, strong velcro strip with a loop on the end uh, if you needed to attach something there so the three I'll show you what I have in there so it holds a full size bottle this is a 15 ounce um, orange juice bottle so it holds that perfectly in there and there's also holes on the bottom uh, for drainage um, not that I'm going to be holding any, anything in there that's going to leak, but it's nice to have. And there's these web strips on the side, again, that you can attach something to. goes all the way through uh, the bag, so you can cinch something to that if you need it as well. In this pocket, I have my iPhone, spare camera battery, and then my eyeglass case. So fits everything um, really nicely. It could hold flashes. I could foresee... Um, lenses you're not going to hold something as wide as the olympus omd um, i'd say the the 12 to 40 probably the girth of it is not going to fit in here but you can do the 45 the 17 the 25 the 60 millimeter all of those are going to fit perfectly in this pocket um, so really a very um well constructed um nice bag that you can repurpose to use as a camera bag or your commuter shooter bag one more thing I'm going to point out about this bag, again, no pockets on the back side. Um, so you, I, I would like that on most bags, but it's not really necessary because I am able to compartmentalize this with, with the insert. But this has, because it's a grab bag and it's used for ammunition in the field, it has a compartment at the top that you can un-Velcro, fold back, and it has a Velcro strip that will hold that back. And then you can, I'll, for demonstration purposes, I'll put the camera back in here. Put that down and you can actually grab your camera show you this way grab your camera right out without opening the bag uh, so that's kind of neat and um there's some construction material that's going to be coming up behind me so hopefully i'll video end this video before that but very versatile bag just thought i'd share it with you today thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks again